Well, welcome to the Medium Rachel Vanek Show on A1R Psychic Radio and Moonstrike TV. I hope you all are having a fantastic Tuesday. We are enjoying the sun shining today and the wind is starting to blow pretty good on us. And so hopefully we get a little bit more snow. We love snow. <laughs> today we have with us a special guest. Can you tell them your name? My name is October. <laughs> yes, welcome October. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about spirit guides again. Uh, Miss October here had a recent experience that she would like to share with us today. Um, so I was sleeping. We were at uh, Colorado when when I like just woke up a little in the morning and then I heard a hmm or something kind of like that. And then I was like, Mom, since we were sleeping in the same bed together. Um, it was one bedroom we slept in, and I was kind of freaked out because I haven't really heard that, something like that in a while, and then she's like, oh, it's just, maybe it's a spirit guide, and I'm like, okay, and then, like, I was thinking, trying to connect with the spirit guide, and I heard, like, soothing ocean music, so, yeah, that's my experience. Oh, that's so neat that you were feeling that you got a sense of it being maybe a guide and that you heard soothing ocean music kind of help put you into a relaxed meditative state. Do you have any other experiences you would like to share? Um, no, not really. There is one um, big experience I had when I was just a little kid and I don't remember much of. It, it was called The Red Man or I'd like to call it. Um, I don't know if it was just me dreaming, but I'm pretty sure it was real because I remember it in our, um, my, um, my old house where I, in my old room and I was, when I was sleeping, I was, there was this red man that looks like that red stop man or something, stop walking street. And I, and it was on my wall and it would always be like scaring me. I mean, I remember my mom yelling, like hearing my mom yelling, October help, October help. But clearly she wasn't yelling that. And that happened for probably only half a month. I don't really remember. I was little before I think it went away. Yeah. Do you remember some of the exercises that you and I would do um, when you told me that story? Since it's it, it kind of frightened you, yeah? Uh-huh. Yeah. And I still remember. I was only a little kid. I was really little. Yeah. I was five the most age. I, re I remember. You were fairly little. Um, I remember, like, we would talk about some exercises to do, like, surround yourself with white light when something spooky presents itself like this. Um, I don't remember that. Yeah. <laughs> that's okay I remember some of the exercises that we would try to do was to remember to surround yourself with white light and to tell it to leave so this red man would not have been a spirit guide it would just would have been some sort of um energy presenting itself and she was in tune and able able to see that and so an exercise was to surround yourself with white light and tell it to leave right mm -hmm. and <laughs> what you remember and then after a while um, he did, did go away. This red man has not shown back up since. Is that right? Right. Good, good. Any other experiences? Um, no, not exactly. Other, there is a couple dreams I told you about earlier, but they're not very psychic -y. They're just dreams. They don't have anything to really do with people. They're just interesting, but, um, no, I do not have much more experience than that. <laughs> okay. I remember um, October um, is very good at seeing colors. Yes, yes. And when she was younger, we called it playing with colors. Um, so she, what she would see is like the energy, people's energy or spirit guides' energy or um, other souls' energy just all, all around her all the time. And there was one night that we were laying in bed and usually 
I'll see um, people like as the figures. But in this particular night, I was seeing all these colors and I'm like, what are these? I didn't, I did not know. And it was like a lot of people coming in and out and just colorful. October woke up in the morning and she's like, mom, what happened last night? I'm like, oh, how do you do? You, I didn't know you were awake. She's like, I was sleeping. I, I was seeing like, in my dream, there's just a bunch of naked people. In my dream were weird like that, naked woman, and it was weird. I, I didn't like it at all. Right, but I was seeing the energy, and she woke up, and she saw like the actual people. So it was almost like our gifts kind of switched there for a moment, where we could see these things. Sorry, it was naked people. <laughs> but, uh, you know that you never know what comes through, right? <laughs> <laughs> I know that's not the funnest. Um, do you want to talk if you have any advice for other kids or even adults about seeing the colors and playing with them or what colors do you see the most? Um, I probably actually see purple the most. Purple on people in general. I mean, my mom says it comes for spiritual people, but then I feel like when I think, I always think, I hope, I wonder what color this person is and think of purple. I see purple a lot, and then and just vibrations in general. Um, so purple is definitely the one I see the most. Yeah, yeah, I see a lot of purple too sometimes, especially when like my spirit guides are coming around. They almost show up like little blobs like of purple. <laughs> or sometimes blue. I do have one spirit guide that comes by looking um, a little blue. Um, and sometimes the colors are just um amazing colors mixed all together like red blotch on this yellow and then blue or something like that anything like that sometimes and it's beautiful to look at <laughs> yes yes thank you so much for sharing i know that we try to keep um things open and talkative around here mm -hmm. um i remember when you were younger um we had a school paper to write down for your teacher and I'm like, well, don't, don't tell October <laughs> what's going to be happening in the class before it does. Or, or oh, I'm trying to remember what I wrote down. Is sometimes she might spoil the secret that you have coming. Like the teacher is about ready to surprise the class because October um, has a lot of intuitive things that comes through sometimes. I don't remember. What's and this is it out. I think so. Like you, you started telling the class that there was a party coming up. Um, and I'm like, oh yeah, I didn't tell this teacher. <laughs> Maybe you should just hold on. <laughs> Take October inside and be like, don't tell everybody. <laughs> Wait, when was that? Please. Go. I think it was. I think I'll it was. That. It was the teacher with the with the red hair. I can't recall her name at the moment. Um, but she totally understood. She's like, okay, okay. <laughs> um, mom, do you have any experiences? Oh, all kinds. <laughs> all tell tell all one kinds. that's which interesting. One, which one is interesting? Hmm. Hmm. Do you have a favorite story of mine you want me to share? Um, I haven't really known your spirit stories. Oh, I remember when um you said or you thought that there might be um our, my great grandpa and great grandma in our house because because this used to be their house and then they both went to a nursing home and after a while we moved in here i do remember and I... you said like and there was those two little birds and you said the blue one was over here or i think it might have been the red one actually and it moved over there yes yes i do associate uh blue birds with my grandfather uh blue jays and then red robins with with my grandmother, um, her great grandparents that used to live here, and they have these two little figurines that we had sitting up on the mantle, and we come out one morning and they were switched like on the opposite side, and I'm like, okay, I didn't move those, and then I asked her, did you move them? No, and then we asked my husband, and he didn't move them, and so we definitely do believe that that was just them kind of popping in to say hello, and I know so sometimes. Um, Spirits do that just to get your attention and they kind of move the little things around on you sometimes. <laughs> um, so do you have anything else to say? <laughs> yes. Uh, hmm, where do I begin? We talked so fast today, didn't we? 
<laughs> I'm so excited you came on today. Uh, yeah, so playing with playing with colors is what we called it. And then you met your spirit guide and tried to connect. And yeah. <laughs> Do you have anything else you want to share or? No, I think I'm pretty You're good. Pretty good. Well, okay. I guess my latest experience from the weekend uh, would have been when we were, I was at the same same place with her, obviously, and I could not sleep. There were so many colors and I didn't see a full figure. I just saw shapes, mostly like human shapes, and they were just all over in the room and I couldn't sleep worth a darn. Like close my eyes and there'd be more bright light. Eventually, I just got up and turned on the bathroom light and started watching some television because I'm like, all right, everybody, <laughs> we need to we need to slow it down a notch. So sometimes <laughs> that's, what, that's what you got to do. So um, if y'all ever experienced that, it's OK. Just to, if you're trying to tell them to go away and they're not listening, just go ahead and turn on the TV and zone out your own way or grounding helps. Um, Anywho, thank you all for coming today. Um, we'll see you all next week. We're gonna blow my kiss. I'll blow a kiss away. Have a great Tuesday. Bye. <laughs>